literally the best feeling in the world. All my problems would vanish. I had issues with my family, my parents. This kid literally ruined his life. Like his face is just completely deformed now forever. I felt like I wasn't enough. I just feel like something was missing that was just keeping me from feeling any sort of confidence. A few years ago, it was summertime, I was at the beach with my brother and one of his friends. I remember with my young mind, I didn't think too much about anything, but as most guys, I wanted a girlfriend. That was one of the main things that just coursed through my head because I never had a long-term relationship. Yes, I had some attention from girls at times, but I felt like that guy who literally would just like never talk to a girl, if that makes sense. Not because I was extremely scared, maybe I was a little bit, but it was more just that I didn't feel like I had it in me, if that makes sense. My confidence was just absolutely horrible. Eventually, years went by and I just just never had a girlfriend, never until junior year of high school. And I remember when I got this girlfriend, it was literally the best feeling in the world because I thought that all my problems would vanish. I had issues with my family, my parents, and those issues really didn't go away when I got this girlfriend. What I will say though, is it definitely lived up to the hype. I was very happy and content with myself in a way, except for one thing. I felt like I wasn't enough. I just feel like something was missing that was just keeping me from feeling any sort of confidence. I had this front of confidence where everybody would see me and they were like, that guy has charisma, but that just wasn't the case. Eventually, we skip ahead about a year from there. It's summer of 2023. We had broken up, and to me, that was one of the worst things I've ever gone through in my life. And the weird part is I've been through a lot of like really kind of messed up stuff in my childhood, but for some reason, that hurt worse than literally anything. And to make things a little bit worse at that time, I also got banned on TikTok that I had been building for two years. This account with like nearly 400,000 followers was just gone. I felt like I literally lost everything. To make things worse, I had a lot of issues with my family at home and I was struggling financially along with my family. And out of all of these problems, the one thing that hurt me the most was my lack of confidence, which is when I made my new TikTok account where I started talking about this term called looks maxing. What I would do is every single day, I would go and just make videos on how to look better. I wasn't doing too much research on it at the time. I was just doing anything possible to make myself look better. And at that time, I started posting content about it on TikTok and this was before looks maxing became like honestly a thing. And this gained a lot of traction. I gained 100,000 followers followers in less than two weeks. And what it showed me is that a lot of guys have the similar thought in their head of I'm not enough and I just don't look good enough. Maybe that's why I don't feel good. Over this time, I had built this audience of young men who just felt like a cult to me. They felt like a, almost like a brotherhood, even though that sounds really cringy. We were all trying to improve together. This euphoric feeling of literally changing the way you look kind of just changed my whole perception on everything. And it became an unhealthy obsession of literally just every day I wake up, that's the first thing I think about. How can I look better? And then how can I teach my followers how to do the same. It got to the point where I was starving myself. I was doing these crazy things known as looks maxing and it just really hurt my mental health without me realizing it. You get to this point where my audience, even as of now, they were saying I was prime Dylan where I was really tan. I had a long flow looking perm and it just... I don't know. People thought I looked really good. Yet this was one of the most unhappy times of my life. Felt like I looked amazing, but I felt horrible. None of my problems went away. I was still broken up with. I still had family issues, still struggling with money. Luckily, I started my business, Clean Cut Cosmetics, that I had no idea would become a million dollar company, but nothing was resolved, to be honest. So now looking back, if I can reflect on everything that I've learned, it's that number one, Looking better, yes, can help in the short term, but long term, it is you. It is the inside that counts. I thought that was a bunch of fluff, but at this point, I really don't think that's the case. I sit here, I wake up every day, I record videos, I do everything to help you guys look better, and I just feel like there's more to life. There just, I know there is. I don't think there is. I think it's sad that there's so many guys who just feel the way that I used to feel. I recommend improving your looks. That's never something I'll go against. Making it your lifestyle can definitely harm you. Perfect example of this is this kid named James Sapphire. He got into looks maxing and basically he started getting plastic surgery and work done on his face as a teenager and he completely ruined his face. I mean, we've seen this with celebrities. We've seen this with really successful people. So it's not these quote unquote normal people who are just doing it. It's celebrities. It's regular people. It's just it's crazy how big this has gotten. This kid literally ruined his life. Like his face is just completely deformed now forever and he's extremely upset about it. And there's nothing he can do. I guess the reason I'm making this video is just to say there's there's more to life than looking better, even though that's the videos that I make. Live your life. Like, just be a kid. Be somebody that you can respect when you're older. Make some money. Just work hard. Do things that make you proud of yourself. Looks maxing can go down a very deep, dark path if you let it, so just don't. Use this video wisely. And if you want to know why you look so ugly in pictures, watch this video right here.